hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of avg news only see the son of nube is my name and i'm here just to update on the court case involving sengezo chabangu who claims to be the interim secretary general of the citizens coalition for change which is zimbabwe's mainstream opposition party led by advocate nelson chamisa so many of you would know that chabangu wrote to the speaker of parliament uh, last month recalling 15 members of triple c who he said had ceased to be members of parliament because they had ceased to be members of the political party which sponsored their candidature and these uh, took the matter to court after the speaker of parliament had responded by recalling them from parliament and advertising through the zimbabwean electoral commission their constituencies as vacant the speaker of parliament after recalling them wrote to the provincial elections officers in their respective provinces indicating that the seats that they had held had become vacant and then the president emerson nangakwa responded after he was informed by the speaker of parliament of the existing vacancies uh, by uh, declaring through a statutory instrument the 7th of november as the date on which the nomination court is supposed to sit to check and uh, look into or process the papers of those who would want to stand in the subsequent by elections and then he declared the 9th of december as the date on which the by elections will be held but Prince Dubego Sibanda, who is one of the MPs who were recalled, then took the matter to court, challenging Chabangus uh standai as someone who can re recall members of Triple C. So in their argument, they were saying that uh Chabangu not only is he not uh the interim secretary general of triple c as they argued that the party doesn't have such a position but they also argued that he is not a member of uh, the party itself that is triple c and as we said uh, before that it's very difficult for triple c to claim that so and so is not a member of the party without anyone who is a member of the party or who is considered a member of the party producing what makes them a member of the party because the party doesn't have any uh, membership register it doesn't have any membership cards so this matter was taken to court it was heard yesterday so now that is saturday the 4th of november the high court of zimbabwe has issued uh, its judgment you remember that yesterday they had promised that the judgment would be issued um next week but now they have issued a judgment that upholds the recalls of the 15 members of parliament which means that the court has not reversed the recalls it means that unless and until there is an appeal which in which a court can rule otherwise uh, these 15 members of parliament have been recalled and the by elections will proceed uh, as have already been declared so the 15 members that have been recalled are prince dubego sibanda bright vanya moyo veliswe nkomo jasmine tofa stabile mlilo pasho rafael sibanda nicola jane watson eric kono evidence sunungura zana morgan nube opet manduna Janeth Dube, Desmond Makaza, Fibion Munyarazi Kufawutizi, Sengezo, oh, that is, these are those that have been uh, recalled by um, Sengezo Chabang. So these, the others are uh, councillors and members of the Senate. So these ones that I read out are those who took the matter to court as applicants and co-applicants with prince dubego sibanda we will come back with the full judgment but so far the issue is that the mps that uh, 
Chabangu recalled have now been uh, recalled. Uh, the court has upheld their recalls, which means that they are no longer members of parliament unless and until uh, another court rules in an appeal that they cannot be recalled by Chabangu. So the major street based, or let me say the judge of the high court based uh, the judgment or the fact that these, that is the judgment by uh, Mutevesi J, that these cannot uh, claim that Chabang is not a member of the party when they themselves have got no proof that they are members of the party. And I'm going to read a paragraph uh, where the judge says, just like it is difficult, if not impossible, for a man to impugn the paternity of his brother without directly involving the parents, it is naive for a member of, politi of a political party to approach a court seeking to prove that another is a non-member of the same party without the involvement of the political party itself. The applicants in, these, in the two applications before me all share the mortification of failing to appreciate the elementary notion, no, notion that they are individuals who are distinct from their political party. They cannot conflate the rights acquired through their individual membership in the party with the responsibilities which are reposed in the political party itself. I will later in the judgment demonstrate the fallacy of believing otherwise. So uh, we will... Uh, continue uh, to study this judgment in full and then we'll come back and explain it fully for you but for now we thought that we needed to inform you that this is what has happened thank you very much don't forget to subscribe to this channel like this video and share it